What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cracker Hunters. I, of course, am Carolina Hitman. Uh, sorry for the little bit of a hiatus, but uh, work has been keeping me busy. A lot of overtime going on right now. <laughs> but um, I think it was worth the wait because I got to crack the, a box open that I got last week and pull this big boy out. And uh, it's the Alien King maquette from Sideshow Collectibles. It is a very, very, very detailed and unique statue. But um, I don't want to spend too much time on the opening because I want to dig right into this one. But um, you all know how I do with my reviews. I like to give a little background, so that's what we're about to go into right now. So, unlike the Queen, this Alien King was actually a alien, a xenomorph human hybrid. And um, it was created by Ernest Keist. I think I'm pronouncing that, right, that name right. Um, it actually made its appearance in the Aliens Rogue novel and actually an Aliens Rogue um, comic book. The Aliens Rogue novel really doesn't give any pictures so you don't really get any details or what it's actually supposed to look like. But it actually has a, the comic book is actually probably based what they based this off of. And it was made to be a more docile xenomorph compared to the Queen of One that the humans can actually tame and they wanted the, this one to control the xenomorphs the regular ones by himself but unfortunately as with any xenomorph project it went crazy because um, and that's what was confusing about the base a little bit now i'm going to get into detail about that because in the novel um the alien king it actually was host immediately hostile towards any xenomorph in the area um the regular ones, warriors, what any xenomorph in the area, it was it was immediately hostile towards them, and um, eventually it bro broke out of his enclosure. It didn't it didn't purposefully go to kill humans, humans, sorry, but um, it killed any that got in his way, and it made his way to the queen, and of course they had their battle, and the queen handily beat this guy, um, even though he's actually bigger and stronger than the alien queen. She's actually a lot more intelligent and faster, so she dispatched this guy very quickly. But um, this is a very unique piece. And by the way, if you haven't read the Aliens Rogue novel or the comic book, pick them up. They're pretty good. As you can see right here, I got the picture of the actually the Alien King, what he looks like in the comic book. Because I don't think this one is the Alien King from the, ro um, from the novel or the comic book because of the fact that he's got xenomorphs on his base. But I do ba think they based the design off of it. And as, you, like, as I showed you, it looks kind of like that. But um, I think I'm done talking and giving y'all some background on this character. Like I said, pick up the novel, pick up the comic book. You know, they're pretty good. As with all any alien novel, they're actually pretty good. But um, I want to get to looking at this base and the xenomorph up close and personal, give y'all some some detailed picture or detailed video of what this bad boy looks up close. So uh, let's jump into that right now. So of course I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of a close up of the face is where I usually like to start at. I think the color palette of this particular statue is very, very well done. I like the greens and the browns and the black all mixed together. Even a little bit of orange as you can see right here on the tip right here. So the paint job on this thing here, man, was immaculate. I mean, no paint defects. I mean, they did a really good job on this. Actually, like I said, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Xenomorphs. I love the history and the movies, even the novels and comic books. I've read it all. I'm a big fan of this, of this, um, of this franchise and of these creatures. Give you a good look at it. So the body design is very, very well done. Like I said, very unique. Um, looks like the queen, but not. You see, I love the tail. And this one, this tail is actually a little different from the queen's. Let's see if I can get it to focus in. There we go. I'm trying to focus, trying to camera, trying to focus in on everything, but what I'm trying to get it to focus on. <laughs> see if I can get it from the top here. There we go. It's a little different than the Queen's because it's got those two prongs on the end and its tail is actually a little thicker and shorter than the Queen's. But I love the way the back looks. 
said just enough to look like a norm, a, a xenomorph, but uniquely different. They said, man, the colors on this thing, man, really pop when you look at it. I hope the video does it justice. But man, this thing, you, had to, you really have to see this thing in person. Even got the two little things right here on the, on the sides. It, sorry if the camera's a little out of focus because it's so small, it's hard to get to focus in on it, especially with everything else in the background. All my sideshow collect, there we go. Collectibles, there you go. Like I said, man, it's just a very, very well done statue. Like this is one of the few ones I think that have been worth the price that they're asking for it. Let's see, I love that little shade of not a greenish blue. That's that's the color. Not, not really green, not really blue, but kind of a mixture of both. Now, let's see, get up in here. Underneath the undercarriage. I'm sorry guys, don't get disoriented, but I'm gonna turn this camera a little bit weird right now. There we go. Y'all, so y'all can see uh, up underneath him. He like said, the guys who did the paint job on this thing, man, did a good job. I don't harp over stuff like that, but I think for that this amount of money, which this one was like $9.99, I think that it's important that they get all the little details right. And even the little indentures, as far as like his hand, Representing like the scale of his hands. They did a good job on that. Now I want to talk about this base. So for me, this is the highlight of the statue. They have like one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six xenomorphs, smaller ones, on the base of this thing. That to me is amazing in itself that they were able to squeeze all this in there. So I, when I, as soon as I saw it up for pre-order, I just went ahead and jumped on it because it looked really good. The base is what sold me. You see each one. And they even have them kind of like ants, you know, like a, a ant high, I mean, ant mound where they're all coming out, as you can see right here, where we got one coming out of the ground itself. That's one of the things I liked about this base. It kind of reminds, the xenomorphs kind of remind me of ants. Anyway, as far as their hive mentality, you know, the queen and their dedication to killing anything that comes near her. But yeah, that's, it looks like a, a little ant hive. Well, not little. <laughs> but yeah, man. Oh, you know what? There's, there's, there's seven on here, actually. There's, yeah, there's another one right there. Haven't actually come out yet. Just peeking his head out. Get him on up in there. There we go. So y'all can see. And I love the way they did the base, you know, as far as the sand. They you can see where he's stepping at. Right there where they got the different shades of like the, the you can tell the, the ground is wet, but it's dry underneath. And I think they did a good job of portraying that wet. There we go. With the colors on the base. And that goes for anywhere like right here, where you tell the xenomorph's tails whipped it a little bit, broke up the sand. Like I said, man, they did an amazing job on this. Give me a little look around. And these are not stones, so the, and I would warn you, when you get it up, be very, very careful when you unpack this, because it's, it seems like the xenomorphs, they're a little loose, but that's fine. I mean, they're sturdy, but the, the material they're made from probably can be easily broken. So I'd recommend being very careful when you take this out of the package. You now follow the directions they give you. They tell you which leg you're supposed to pull on to actually pull out the, the styrofoam. Listen to that so you do not break this thing. Yeah, man, this, this is an awesome statue. Like I said, the colors, the way they did everything, and even fitting all these xenomorphs onto this base. Like I said, the base was the highlight for me. I mean, the king looks amazing, but I think the base really brings it out as far as him being in control of the xenomorphs. Which, I, like I said before, I'm in my, my oh, not opening, but my brief history of the character, I don't think this one is the one based off of the comic book, just the design. 
because like I said, they, it's, it's supposed to kill the xenomorphs as soon as it comes near them. But, you know, I'm all open for artist interpretation. And I think they did a good job on that. You see, again, a little sand differential in color right here. I said, man, I, I, I get really impressed when I see a statue like this and they do such a good job on the color and the paint and everything. It, it really brings it home. And I think that's, for me, what does it so much on this one, like the color and everything, as you can see. Give you a good look right here. Not too close, but not too far away. This, just the color. You know, those greens and blues and oranges and browns and blacks. Just so many different colors on this one particular statue. Let me say, they just did an amazing job. Let's see. Let me give you a little close up of his face here. Your face. Try to do my Sean Connery impersonation. Shaken, not stirred. King, not queen. Hope oh, that's good enough. <laughs> but yeah, guys, like I said, man, this is just an amazing statue, amazing piece that I own, that I was able to pick up. So the tail is really well done too. And I like those that, that those double prongs right here. I mean, those things right here, man, just amazing. Like I said just knocked it out of park, sideshow once again. I cannot actually wait to see what the alien queen, the uh, xenomorph queen, is back is going to look like. I saw pictures of it from um, Comic Con, and man, that thing looks amazing. I'm hoping they do just as good a job, which I think they will. Let me go get a little focus in right here. Give you one more gloss over of this base and all the little goodies that it has. Let's see, you don't want up in here. Yeah, man, it's detail on this man especially this base man like i said this base is what knocked it home for me just being able to have so many xenomorphs on it at one time all right i think i've talked enough about this bad boy so i think it is time for my closing so everybody let's get to closing right now so everyone, this is an amazing statue. There's really not much more to say about it. I mean, you can just look at it from the video and everything to tell how awesome this thing is. Being a big fan of the Xenomorphs in general and, that, and the Aliens franchise, like it was an automatic buy for me. I love the detail in it, the color palette. I mean, it's just everything about this statue screams quality. Like I said, from what, what really sold it home for me was the base, you know, being able to fit so many individual xenomorphs on the base to me is an achievement in itself i mean this is like one two three four five six almost seven yeah seven xenomorphs on this statue i know i counted it before but i forgot how many it was <laughs> but um this thing is highly detailed and i say if you ever pick it up don't forget guys and gals please be careful when you take it out the box because it seems like it'd be easily broken and I'd hate to see you mad because you broke something taking it out the box. So be very careful. But um, this, is, this is a good piece, man. I, I really hope that if you're a fan of the Xenomorphs or the Aliens franchise and you're a statue collector, this is a worthy purchase. I mean, pick it up. It's well worth the money. Uh, like I said, one of the few pieces that I feel is worth the price tag they're asking for. And I think on Sight Show right now, they're asking $9.99. And of course, since it's still available, I'll put a link to the description, lead you right to it if you feel like picking it up. Hopefully this, this video has swayed you to that side. So pick this up. It is well worth the purchase price and it's an amazing statue. So everybody, I hope you've enjoyed the review. Hope you enjoyed our time together today. <laughs> but um, I'm Carolina Hitman. And of course, you know, it's Cracker Hound Hunters. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell button, you get notified on any of my new statue reviews or just general discussions that me and my boy Anubis like to have every now and then. But um, I really thank y'all for joining me. Just join me next time. I actually got uh, another Court of the Dead statue, the, the, I think it was the General, 
I can't pronounce his name right now. But I did get one, but unfortunately, it arrived damaged, which is actually the first one I had from SciShow to come in damaged. So I had to send it back and get a replacement. So maybe a little while before I get to review that one. But I'm waiting on right now the um, Big Chap bus from Cool Props right now. So I'm just waiting for that to come in through SciShow. So just keep, just keep looking out for me. And like I said, I'm sorry that I've been having to space my videos out so, so far apart when I was releasing at least two or three a week having to slow down because of the overtime I'm working at work. So please just be patient. And maybe if, you know, a week or so now until this overtime cuts down that I may be able to release a video. So guys just, and gals, please just be patient. I'll release them as soon as I can. But thanks for joining me. Of course, Carolina Hitman, Cracker Hunters. We'll see y'all next time. Signing out.